does semen retention or participating in no nut november actually increase semen volume i'm dr rena malik urologist and pelvic surgeon and today we're going to be talking about semen retention now semen retention is the act of essentially avoiding ejaculation in any form through masturbation or sex or any way in which you would normally ejaculate now it becomes really a big topic of conversation in the month of november because there is this thing called no nut november November, where people challenge other men to abstain from ejaculating for 30 days of November. Now, that means no sex, no masturbation. If you do participate in some form of masturbation, you cannot ejaculate. Now, the practice of semen retention has actually ancient roots. So basically, beliefs were that celibacy increased a man's vitality or strength, and so people often practiced semen retention. Now, No Nut November started in 2011 based on a Reddit post and was then subsequently popularized and it sort of comes up every year in the month of November. Now, people think that semen retention improves testosterone, fertility, and semen volume. Now, in my previous videos, I've talked about the science behind semen retention, particularly in terms of testosterone and fertility. There's only been two really small studies with 10 men and 29 men that look at testosterone levels after doing a period of semen retention. So it's through 10 days, three weeks. Through all the literature, there's only two small studies which have looked at the change in testosterone concentration in the blood after a period of semen retention. And in those small studies, of course, there was only 10 and 29 young, healthy men who abstained from masturbation during that period of time. And in one study, they did see an increase in testosterone after three weeks of abstinence. But again, these are young, healthy men, and they also know that at the end of the study, they're going to get to watch an erotic film and masturbate. And so anticipatory cues are actually very very powerful in terms of sex hormones. There's, there's a number of studies that have shown that your sex hormones actually increase when you have anticipatory cues. So when you think you're going to get a certain reward, and in this case sex, your body works by increasing those sex hormones to increase your drive to go get it. And the other study, which included 29 men, did show an increase in testosterone after seven days, but then it quickly decreased. So these increases are likely very short-lived, and these increases are likely due, again, to um, these anticipatory cues, and if they do increase, are likely very, very short-lived. And in terms of fertility, you actually see a decline in semen quality the longer you abstain from ejaculating. So after about five to seven days, you're seeing more DNA fragmentation and worsening morphology, meaning the shape of the sperm and motility or movement of the sperm. Now, what about semen volume? A lot of people say like, look, I participated in No Nut November and I had a huge ejaculate volume. Now, is that true? So partially. If you abstain from ejaculating, you will increase your semen volume. Now, a number of studies have looked at semen volume after periods of abstinence, particularly in terms of looking at the ideal fertile window. So how long should you abstain from ejaculating before having sex to ideally conceive and have a viable embryo? And so when they've looked at these studies, there's been a couple of meta-analyses. Now, meta-analyses are, are taking all the studies that have looked at abstinence and it's impact on sperm quality and taking all those studies together and seeing if truly when you combine all the data from all these studies, are you still seeing an effect? So in the first systematic review, they saw 17 studies. And in that 17 studies, they generally did absence up to 14 days in a variety of studies. And what they found was that there was a significant increase in semen volume for those who had longer abstinence periods. Now, in the other systematic review, they saw the same thing. They looked at 30 studies and they found, again, an increase in semen volume as you increase the length of abstinence. But the kicker here is they looked at the rate of change. What was the greatest increase in semen volume during that period. And the greatest overall increase was 11.9% per day in the first four days of abstinence. So it seems like the, the majority of the semen 
volume increase occurs within the first four to five days. And this makes sense because we do know that the body does tend to absorb some of the semen if it's not ejaculated. And also, as you increase abstinence from ejaculation, there is a highly likelihood that you will have a nocturnal emission, meaning you will ejaculate in your sleep and it is completely out of your control. So this is really important. If you are participating in a period of semen retention or no nut November, it is very possible that you will have a wet dream. And that is completely normal response of your body trying to empty out essentially what you have not done in your own time. And so this is again, not in your control, not something you can prevent from happening. And so if you do that, you're then again, back at baseline starting from essentially day zero in terms of semen volume. And so probably if you're really trying to increase semen volume, the best option is to just go four or five days and then eject it at that point. If you're trying to have babies, we generally recommend somewhere between two to five days between sex. What I usually recommend for couples is to go every other day during the fertile window because that is, you know, only so long. And so that allows you to optimize your chances of fertility. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you check out my video on increasing your erections naturally. And if you're looking for a urologist, I am located in Newport Beach, California. I take care of plenty of patients who have sexual dysfunction, both men and women, hormone management, pelvic pain, as well as bladder dysfunction and prolapse for women. So feel free to make an appointment online very easily, renamalikmd.com slash appointments. And as always, remember to take care of yourself because you're worth it.